you check the thumbnails and the titles of this whole Britain's Got Talent thing on their page, you will notice something. First, they've written Abigail and Afrodita don't miss a beat. Abigail and Afrodita world class performance. Abigail and Afrodita and Norton Snene. Abigail and Afrodita run the world. All auditions and the all auditions that they put combined, it was Abigail's face that was there, not Afrodita. Abigail and Afrodita turn up in Reggie and Bolin in any. Now, this is because the Britain's Got Talent slot, no? it was meant for Abigail, not Afonita. Abigail was the one who got the slot. And later, Afonita came to join. I'll explain everything. But this whole buhaha going on, no? I've gathered all the information. I didn't want to touch this story because this is not about Abigail and Afonita. It is about some people fighting their fight. But then, a lot of you have been sending me messages, won't you talk about it, what is going on? So I have the full gist of what has gone on and what is going on in this whole Abigail Afonita family day And I'll tell you everything. But let me remind you that the promo is still going, the Samsung Eat promo is still going on. So from now till the 22nd of June, if you go to any Samsung shop and you go and buy A55, A35, A25, you will get a silicone case free, silicone case and also a travel adapter, what we call charger head. And also if you buy the A15, you get 150 Ghana CD discount. If you buy the A05, you get 100 Ghana CD discount. So go to any Samsung shop and go and buy something nice and you get discount. And this is a promo from Samsung for the Eid celebrations. Now let's get into the story. I'm the headless YouTuber, there's headless reactions. Alati Ae, Iyanko! Afonita and Abigail are going to Britain's Got Talent. The basic assumption is that Afonita is going to Britain's Got Talent with Abigail. The two of them are going. And everybody would believe naturally that it is Afonita who is pulling the strings. But then now we've come to know that no. It is Abigail who got the Britain's Got Talent invitation. They reached out to Abigail through Afonita's channel or Afonita's page on Instagram. They saw the videos and they've seen Abigail's dances and stuff and they did their research and they saw that okay Abigail is deaf and all that. So they reached out that we want this girl on the show. We want Abigail on the show. So naturally Abigail was supposed to go with her parents. You know the way the Britons got talent people do know. If, they, if it's somebody that cannot talk for or speak for herself, it is her parents who go and sit down in the profile and talk for her and say all these things before the audition. So it was supposed to be Abigail and Abigail's father who would go so that Abigail's father would talk for her. But then because of the relationship between Abigail and Afonita, Abigail's father said that, you know what, Afonita, go with Abigail so that you will talk for her and the two of you do the dances because the two of you do everything together already and it's nice. So go with her. The Abigail had the deal. Abigail had the chance to, uh, we were contacted from the, from the producers. So she had a child. Uh, Abigail, they were like, um, we want um, we we followed Abigail online. We've seen her videos. We think her story is interesting. Yeah. We would like her to audition for British Got Talent. Okay. Would you? Okay. Are you interested? She asked me, yeah. and I'm like, this is something we've been praying for. So, if if it's coming, yes, yes, we are interested. Yeah. yeah. So fast forward, um, we, it was a Zoom call. Fast forward, there was a Zoom call. Yeah, between, I heard that uh, the between parents. Afro, the no, parents and then yeah i think afro and the parents yeah i heard so, that one so the slots there were there were three slots mm -hmm. the mother uh, abigail's mother abigail's father and uh, herself abigail uh -huh. Uh -huh. but the producer suggested that um we would love if afro could join but we don't have the funds for that we don't have the means for that okay okay and then if you know how Abigail loves Afro, Bonita, I, they yes. told me yesterday. Yeah, they told me. I, the father, the father, willingly told the producer, and this is what this is what I got to me, and, and it keeps me like baffled every day. The yeah. father told the producer, "I will step down so that Afro could join and go." Oh, 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 oh. You feel me? Dale, I feel you, bro. So, so the father stood down mm -hmm. for Afro. And, and, and then I just want to be clear. 
who in Ghana here will get a chance to travel Why outside would you look at and give it to and someone say, else? That's yes. crazy. That's crazy. And say, okay, I'm not going. You mm-hmm. go. Who who would do that? But the father did that. And up to now, I was even surprised. So it's like Abigail's father sacrificed her slot for Afonita to go. And that's why even in the profile video, it was Afonita talking about Abigail. Abigail has always been dancing, even when she was a little girl. Oh. Abigail doesn't understand sign language. We communicate through body movements and gestures. She hears loud sound with vibrations, either from her feet or in her chest. Oh. Abigail loves to watch Britain's Got Talent. She has a tablet, and if you go on it, you see her YouTube history. Britain's Got Talent, Britain's Got Talent, Britain's Got Talent. It's always been Abigail's dream to be on BGT. If you've been watching X Factor, and Americans Got Talent and Britain's Got Talent, you know that usually the person who speaks for the person, like the, the one going to dance or going to do showcase their talent, you know, will probably be a family member. And usually that person doesn't go and perform some. So this thing that Afronita was saying over here, it was supposed to be Abigail's father saying it. But then Afronita was the one who said it because Abigail's father gave Afronita his slot. Now when they went and they were doing all these interviews and stuff, I noticed in the comment section some people were saying that Afronita should stop talking and say I, I, I. They are there as a team. So if Afronita is talking, she should say we, 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 and not I, I, I. I mean, what's the reaction, the comments? How does that make you guys feel? I feel blessed. I feel so, so blessed to be here. So blessed to see everyone on their feet. So blessed to see the judges happy. It's crazy. And I know she feels the same way too. And also when they went for the audition and they came back to Ghana, all the interviews, everybody treated Afronita as if she is the one who put a, who has given a Abigail this kind of opportunity. And it is only natural for Ghanaians to believe that or to think that. So I think that's where the confusion came in. And that's how come I think Abigail's father and Afronita had those things because the man went to tell Afronita that, hey, why do you keep talking as if you, you know how the thing went already? So why do you keep talking as if like the whole shine is coming to you and you're not taking shine or you're not giving my daughter the kind of shine? But then if you go on Britain's Got Talent page there, everything was focused on Abigail. Every title is Abigail and Afronita. If it's Ghanaian titling, it's Ghanaian to do it Afronita and Abigail. Because in Ghana, Afronita is bigger than Abigail. But then, because the Britons got talent, their main focus is Abigail. That's how come all the titles had Abigail and Afronita. Abigail and Afronita. And because Abigail is deaf, or she can't hear, she can't really talk. Because if you are deaf, and you don't hear words since your childhood, how can you talk? So Afronita is the one who has been doing all the talking for Abigail. Afronita, who have you brought with you today? I'm here with Abigail's mom and my auntie and her yeah! daughter. <laughs> now let's get to why this whole buhaha and fight has happened. When they went for the first uh, audition, when they went to UK first time for the audition, there's a Ghanaian community in the UK who support a lot. And this lady, one of the ladies called Mami Araba Smiley. This lady is, you know, she's very supportive. She's the one who was shouting Ghana energy in the video. Now this lady's energy was my favorite. Her energy was my favorite. So this lady, Mami Araba Smiley, she and her group of friends or whatever, her team, they support people. When Reggie and Bolly went for X Factor, and then they, they are the Ghanaians who went to support. So when Abigail and Afronita were going to the UK, they contacted these people that, oh, we need that kind of support. You know, since you are the Ghanaians over there, definitely the support will come. And the support came. And another thing about this Britain's Got Talent people is that if, they, if, they, if you go and they take you to the hotel and they do the audition and they finish shooting the audition, the next day you are checking out of the hotel. That is it. They will not keep you in the hotel for so many days. So definitely, you know, you will need some people around you to at least help you with certain things. And they will only give you breakfast. They will not give you lunch. They will not give you all this. Yes. So then this man called Kofi Muhammad. This man is a caterer. He cooks for events and stuff in the UK. So this man contacted Mami Amba Smiley and told her that, oh, since the BGT people will not be cooking for these people, 
allow me to cook for them. Link me so that I'll be cooking for them. And that is how come Kofi Mama was introduced to Afonita's mother. He got Afonita's mother's phone number and they were talking and all that. Now, after the finals has happened and everything seems okay, we are waiting for Afonita and Abigail to get to Ghana so that we will meet them at the airport with the Adua people and the ministers and go and do all these things. No? All of a sudden, this man Kofi Mahama came on the internet to do a video. And in the video, he made it known that there's an issue going on between Abigail's father and Afonita and stuff like that. To start with, I didn't know, say, Afonita and Abigail parents, there's this tension, like, you know, air coswa, like, it could be a woman, them. Ah, yeah, she be a be affecting color. Now, the initial problem that they had was not Abigail and Afonita. Abigail is not fighting with Afonita. Abigail's family is not fighting with Afonita's family. They are not fighting over money. Britain's got talent. If you come in third place, then they will not give you money. So there's no money involved that will make them fight. They are not fighting over the price money of the Britain's got talent. But then this man, Kofi Mahama, made videos insulting Mami Araba Smiley. And that is the fight. The fight is between Kofi Mahama and Mami Araba Smiley. Mami Araba Smiley is geared towards Afrolita's camp. And Kofi Mahama is talking from a, um, Abigail's camp. So when Kofi Mahama made a lot of allegations about Mami Araba on the, in, the, in that video, he did know. Mami Araba was kind of angry because she knew that Kofi Mahama is telling lies. And she is cool with Abigail's mother. And Abigail's mother is close to Kofi Mahama. In fact, Abigail's mother and Abigail, they were sleeping in Kofi Mahama's house. So, Mami Araba was angry at Abigail's mother that if somebody is, you are sleeping in somebody's house and the person is doing videos, lying and fabricating and insulting me, and you and I are cool, and you cannot tell the person that he should stop, and you cannot come out and debunk it, then me and you, we have problem. And that is where the issue came from. Yeah, planning is the same way. Yeah, but it's so annoying knowing the kind of heart and the extent I will go for even strangers. Now, my minute to me, yeah, me sir. Into confirm my arm and about a system, no more. A friend will phone so I and I found it a more idea. And I found it a more idea. Not so coffee, the patrol, oh, more idea. No, one and a cassa will phone so and no more idea. Oh, my send in a message and a one one reply. I'm say ah, and what kind of a good feeling? I'm so coffee and in a and no tea. I call any more idea. I want to make us say. Me jine won se wun yo biye di nko monti na woka sa. Me komi inti me infre wu si ta vini ke nami nkanyo se me su nora mu adye. E won ni ama kache wun ti na wusu ube wun nora wun ene beye ni a ube ye ni. Inti ye du hon lo wana ono beye na no de dende se. Afronita we love you your mother is here don't cry bla 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 nami se ah bra. We are hypocrites. O ke si ine ni. Me ka si ine ni. Me se we are hypocrites. And that is where the issue came from. Kofi Mohammed's video, he was talking about um, when they gave them the tickets for the finals. It was eight tickets, and they were supposed to give them two or say four or seven. Just that his whole problem was some way. And Mami Araba Smiley also came out to defend herself that, why are you behaving this way? Why are you talking? If you have a problem with me, come and talk to me. Don't come and be talking on the internet and involving the girls as if the girls are fighting. Now, the two of them, their banter was kind of childish to me because all this a uh, TikTok fighting that people fight, you know. Personally, I'm not interested in it. That's how come when they were fighting, I, I felt reluctant to come and do the videos because this is a grown man insulting a grown woman all because Abigail didn't have clothes that she would wear to uh, they were supposed to wear the same thing to a uh, training or practice or something like that. And Abigail was not having clothes. So um, Mami Araba took Abigail to Primark, a shop in the UK, to go and buy things. And Kofi Mahama came out to say that the things that she went to buy, that they are cheap. Now that shop can is cheap things that they sell over there. This is the kind of thing they were saying in their banter. And they were involving the girls as if the girls are fighting. Abigail and Afonita are very cool. Abigail loves Afonita, Afonita loves Abigail. There's nothing like a fight between them. It is Kofi Mahama and Mami Araba Smiley who have their fight. So these two people fighting in the UK, no? it doesn't concern Abigail and Afrolita. 
So last last yesterday, um, it was revealed that Abigail's father and Aphrodite's father they've spoken and they've cleared the issue. Sometimes women will be fighting and stuff like that. Meanwhile, the men are cool. So it's the men who spoke to each other, and according to some relatives of Abigail, the matter has been settled. So if you had any bruhaha going on between Abigail and Afrinita and there's a fight and they are fighting and whatever, there's no fight. It is Kofi Mahama who was chasing clouds. He came on the internet to say a lot of things, saying that Afrinita is, a, um, Afrinita is broke in the UK and she doesn't have money to return to Ghana. And she said, because of all these things, when they went to the, a, the Ghana High Commission in the UK, a, uh, Mami Abba Smiley didn't want Kofi Mahama to take pictures with Afronita. She said, it is their fight. It is not Afronita and Abigail fight. It is Kofi Mahama and Mami Abba's fight. So yes, if you heard anything, this is the full gist of what has been happening for the past four or five days. Share your views in the comment section. Let me know what you think about it. And I'm very sure that next week, by next week, Monday or Tuesday, day, Abigail and Afronita will be in Ghana. And they will speak to the public and talk about all these things. So this is the full gist of what was going on and what is going on. And I don't know. Share the video, subscribe to the channel, and also don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section. Yeah, then. Yeah,